I'm Amy from Our Amiable Farmhouse, and today you're going to get to come along with us on our family adventure of foraging for wild chanterelle mushrooms in the Tillamook State Forest. It's another family adventure time! Woot woot! excited. <laughs> Another Van Lu family adventure and we're going to the Tillamook Forest to forage for some chanterelle mushrooms. Yummy! <laughs> One of the great things about this Pacific Northwest is that we get to uh, go foraging for various kinds of berries and mushrooms. We're fortunate enough to have a friend uh, whose property butts up against uh, some forest. So we're gonna go out there and um, look for some mushrooms. What's the best way to find mushrooms? You gotta know what you're looking for and then you gotta know the kind of terrain that you're that they grow in. So uh, usually you're looking for 20 to 30 year old forest um, that would have the spores to grow the mushrooms. So. Okay then. I'm sure he'll teach us how to properly harvest them so that there will be another harvest uh, the following year. Because if, I'm pretty sure I've heard like if you just pull them out of the ground, that's not good. You want to actually cut them down at the ground so that um, they can grow again. Right? Yeah, there's controversy over that, but we lean towards the conservative side and want to maintain the uh, viability of the mushroom growing, so we'll be conservative and cut them. Yeah, we like the mushrooms and so we want to be able to have some again next year. <laughs> Alright Sarah, tell us what we are picking today. Today, we are picking the most elegant mushroom on earth. The most tasty, delicious one called the chanterelle mushroom. The chanterelle? Tell us about the chanterelle. What do you like to eat it with? Oh, well, my favorite dish is deep frying them with butter and then putting a steak, elk. That sounds very healthy. Oh yes. It's fun watching myself in the videos to be honest, y'all. <laughs> Bad for you? Oh. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. They're not as good as the other ones, though. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> Moving on. What you got there, Hannah? What? What you got there? A walking stick. A walking stick. And a bucket. As and a, a bucket. Helmet. As a helmet. For Are you a little? Stick. For the stick. Not for you. For the stick.
Today, class, we're going to talk about harvesting chanterelle mushrooms. So you're looking for a fresh mushroom um, with no mold or other imperfections on it. And you want to look for one. All chanterelles do not have gills. They actually have ribs um, around the outside. Um, and they can be fairly fat in diameter or they can be a little frilly. Um, but they don't go down very far and they don't have a collar. Chanterelles will never have a collar. Again, when you cut them, it should cut solid all the way through, never a tube, never a hollow tube, and it should cut pure white. So some of the look-alikes that you don't want to eat will either be a different color on the inside or they'll have a hollow tube. So if you cut one off with, a, with one of those things, put away or ask your mushroom buddy. Mushroom buddy. These are my favorite little fungus girls. Look at, they're called bird's nest. What? And there's black and white ones too, right? Dad, do you have a knife? I do. Correct. Come here, Hannah. I don't want to be poisoned. Did you find one? love mushrooms. They love chanterelles and they eat them. Last year I couldn't find any because they had come through like the day before I went after them and they were all gone except for one or two here and there. They're like snack time. We'll share a bucket. Take all your I see something glowing in the distance. I picked all these. Hello. I'm very slow going. <laughs> That's all right, because we're not racing. Yeah, and the, that bounty is pretty large. Oh. Hey, y'all. We're gonna go get food now because I'm starving and I'm dying. So we just got all our mushrooms. Now we're gonna have like an egg scramble with our chanterelles. Yummo! I'm about to die because I need food. So that's where we're going next. Glorious food. Beautiful. <laughs> fun today traveling along with us on our wild mushroom hunt. If you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified every time a new video goes live. I bring a new video each week on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thanks so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse.